Some citizens are well versed in their rights. What happens when ignorant cops try to push these genius citizens' limits? Here are four instances where genius suspects humbled idiot cops. Where did she stop you for? For a walking stick. So, and it could look like a weapon. She asked you to really present it, okay? Now she's asking me for an ID. This is James Hodges, a legally blind 61-year-old man. On October 31st, 2022, around 8 in the morning, Officer Jamie Govda, a female police officer from the Columbia County Sheriff's Office in Lake City, Florida, spotted Mr. Hodges walking along some roads toward his home. Mr. Hodges carries a cane for walking. Observe how Officer Goad, accompanied by Sergeant Harrison, has evil intentions while Mr. Hodges walks past him. Hi there! Hey. What's this in your back pocket? I just saw you walking it. It's a navigational age. What's the problem? You a tyrant? Yeah, I am actually. What's your name and date of birth? I don't have to give that unless Yes, I'm sir. Good. I was investigating. You have reasonable do you want me to put suspicion? you in handcuffs right now? Yes, sir, I do. What is your suspicion? It looks like you're carrying a gun in your back pocket. I'm stopping to make sure you're carrying it properly. You well, don't have, have you to... ensured that it's not a firearm? No, you keep turning so I can't see it. You don't have to be to me. Well, you're being one to me. No, sir. I'm Have doing my job. Day. Am I detained? Yeah, you are. What's your name and date of birth? It doesn't not matter. Yes, sir, it does. Do you have a crime? Would you like me Call to your put you in here? He's please. right here. All right. Don't, you know. Where would she stop you for? For a walking stick. So, and it could look like a weapon. She asked you to really present it, okay? Now she's asking me for an ID. I don't need the ID unless a reasonable, articulated suspicion and her, that I have committed a crime, am committing a crime, and or her, about to do a crime. Sir, and her suspicion was that you were armed, okay? And she's asking you for your ID. Well, now right. she has verified that I am not armed, right? Okay? So there is no you problem. you have your ID or not? I do have my ID, okay. but you don't need it, okay? For those who don't know, Officer Godet initially stopped Mr. Hodges because of a Florida law that says an individual cannot openly carry a firearm. However, even after confirming that Mr. Hodges was unarmed, Officer Goad and Sergeant Harrison persisted in detaining and harassing him. Sir, you deserve it. Okay, Send seven whiskey mac detained. I don't know where his wallet is. Where's your wallet at, sir? I don't have my wallet on me. Okay, where's your ID? Where's your ID? Uh, pocket. Which pocket? You are not allowed to search me. Okay. Thank you. I want your names and badge numbers. 1257 on Nick 654 Yeah, 4 Jury duty, which was canceled. Why aren't you using your stick? You don't have to use your stick all the time? Not all the time. 26. Yeah, I'm going to go to the All right, Mr. Hodges. Was that that hard? It's going to be. I want your name and your badge number. You know what? Put in jail for resisting. Okay. All right, let's go. I want your name and badge number two, sir. Have a seat. You want to pick my property up, please? I sure will. After you have a seat. You want to pull this out of my back pocket? Sure. Here, I'll grab your jacket for you, too.
Officer Goad and Sergeant Harrison placed Mr. Hodges in handcuffs and conducted an illegal search by reaching into Mr. Hodges' pocket and taking his identification. This violates the rights of Mr. Hodges for unreasonable searches and seizures, according to the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Mr. Hodges was kept in jail without access to life-sustaining medications he'd been prescribed. Following an internal investigation, Sergeant Harrison was immediately demoted and was suspended for a week. Officer Goad was suspended for a couple of days, and both officers underwent remedial training for civil rights. A GoFundMe campaign initiated by Hodges' lawyer last November garnered $2,250 out of its $25,000 objective. Another campaign, which nearly reached its $35,000 goal by accumulating approximately $34,000, was created by a complete stranger who saw the story, according to Hodges, who resides in a rented mobile home. If you think these corrupt cops were humbled rightfully, wait until you watch this next case. What's up? How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? You're loud exhaust. Do you have your driver's license registration? Loud exhaust? Yeah. I was doing like 10 kilometers an hour slow past you. Yeah, it's still loud. This is Damon Fryer, a YouTuber, car enthusiast, and an internet celebrity. On December 30th, 2022, Mr. Fryer was cruising in one of his Lamborghini along with his friend David Coulter in Newport Beach, California, when he was allegedly caught over speeding and his car being too loud by a cop by the Newport Beach Police Department. Watch how the encounter unravels. <laughs> What's up? How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? You're loud exhaust. Do you have your driver's license registration? Loud exhaust? Yeah. I was doing like 10 kilometers an hour slow past you. Yeah, it's still loud. Do you have your driver's license registration insurance? Yeah, I'll get that for you. Yeah. Registration. Perfect. So what's the rule with exhaust noise then? Uh, 27150A says that uh, your car has to be equipped with an adequate muffler. So how would you know in the moment that it wasn't? Uh, it's got to produce, uh, not produce any loud or unusual noise. So do you have like a, a decibel reader or anything? No, that's a different section. Do you have your driver's license reader? <clears throat> yeah, watch yourself. There you go. <clears throat> it almost feels like <clears throat> because there's a car shot on the road, you guys are basically baiting people. I'm not baiting anybody. All right, hang on right here. <laughs> definitely that's baiting. dirty. He's definitely baiting people. <laughs> There's no way. They were sitting there waiting for everyone. I'm actually a bit shocked right now because we literally were driving so slow trying to find. We, were we filming? What's that? Were you filming when we left the parking lot? Mm, I think so. I was doing like 10 kilometers an hour in second. Like I was barely moving. I was looking. That's interesting. I'm taking a picture. Cool. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Good. So question, now that you've pulled this over and you have the registration and the plate, you know the car is not even from this country. Mr. Fryer and Mr. Coulter expressed their protest and questioned the approach taken by the police officer. The officer quickly sensed that the traffic stop could escalate when he realized that the car did not have a United States license plate. Observe how he reacts to the situation during his encounter with Mr. Fryer and Mr. Coulter. So now you know that there's really nothing illegal on this car's behalf. He doesn't know what to say. Oh, Roger, like I said, just citation for the loud exhaust. Here's a copy of citation information. I'll be right here next to the black X. It's not a mission to go. It's a promise you'll take care of it. So next to the X? Yep. So I have a question for you. Sure. So if you weren't trapping cars, why were you parked next to the parking lot waiting for people to leave? I was parked uh, on the street over here. Have a good day, drive well, I haven't signed yet. I haven't finished signing. You signed it right here? I got halfway through. I'm not, that's not my signature. I won't hand up. Seriously. 
Okay, just finish on. The other question is, what's the ticket for? You said loud exhaust. Is it that it was a municipal violation, or is it that the car has a modified exhaust, or Drive what safe, is? Have a good day. Do you want to ask any questions? So, is that a disputable ticket? Sure. Any oh, it ticket. is. Any ticket disputable? Oh, okay, that's have, easy. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Yeah, you just just give it to ticketclinic.com and. Well, usually an officer has a duty of explaining to the charges. Now he don't want to talk. Let me finish signing my signature. <laughs> he didn't want to talk. Didn't, uh, have a good one. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. What's going on with the car show? It seems like you guys have like kind of surrounded it like to kind of get these guys. I gotta go. Are you his sergeant? I am one of the He sergeants. didn't explain a ticket. He, I was halfway signed and he walked away. I know there was a camera, he but told like, me he explained it. there's people doing things and take all the bad stuff. This is a car show at nine in the morning. They're hanging out front and giving tickets to everybody. Like, yeah, what's the point? Not, that's pointless. That's just like, and I'm not going to respect you guys if you do things like this. If you're speeding or breaking the law, all the legal stuff happening, I get that. But literally, these guys are like having a coffee eight in the morning. We were filming. Slow. We were filming from the car show I too here. Your opinion. Driving at like three thousand RPM, really quietly. Opinion. I mean, he walked up and didn't explain the ticket to me, and I was signing. He walked away as I was signing. We film things for YouTubers, but when you're an officer, being filmed is a good thing because if you're being professional in your job, no one can argue with it. That's why we film everything. That's why you guys wear badge caps. Yeah, it's just do it to protect us. Yeah, so that's why I was asking him, he just walked away. It's unfortunate that like, I, you get I an attitude. I talk to him. I know he told me when I pulled up, he explained it. When you go to court, the officer and the judge can explain everything like he did already. Any other questions? No. Mr. Coulter, the driver of the car, received a speeding ticket. Despite this, the deputy failed to provide an explanation for the tickets and the violation. Consequently, he promptly left the scene after realizing he had been exposed for his corrupt behavior. If you think this genius duo exposed the wrongdoings of a cop, then probably you haven't heard of this next case. Disturbing the peace. Both of them squealing their okay. wheels at him. I, um, he you know, he's talking. Okay. Okay. Travis, they come here, they hit the cone, they're messing around here around this new monument. It went on for about five minutes, okay? This is Travis Cram and Parker Whelan. On September 17th, 2022, around 10.30 p.m., both teenagers Cram and Whelan allegedly screeched their bird scooter's tires and made some noise outside the apartment of Michael J. Cicchini. Mr. Cicchini was the Bay City Public Safety Director then. He explained he's had had enough when he could not enjoy his leisure time while these boys disturbed him with the noise. He had approached the boys after yelling at them from his apartment upstairs. Watch the subsequent interrogation that unfolds. Okay, well, I'm I talking can talk. to him. No, you're I'm not. Just, let, talk. let him talk first. Let him talk first. Let no. him talk. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh -huh. okay. Disturbing the peace. Both of them squealing okay. their wheels at him. I, um, he you stop. Have... He's talking. Okay. 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 Travis, they come here. They hit the cone. They're messing around here around this new monument. It went on for about five minutes. Okay. I'd had enough. I'm upstairs. All right. I okay. said some bad words. All right. Okay. He challenged me to fight and dared me to come down. Okay. I came down. He stood off on me and I did a pectoral jab with my flashlight. Okay. Director Cicchini had jabbed Travis Cram's chest with his flashlight, inducing him into a physical encounter. However, the boys opted for a lawful and mature approach and refrained from any sort of physical conflict. Okay. 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 What's that? Okay. My side first, right? So, I hold on. Side. Yes, yeah. you do. Just wait. I'll, I'll cut a supplement. Two charges right oh. here. Okay. In okay. my opinion. Here's okay. a scoop. But I'll let you investigate it. Okay. 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 Bird scoop. I, right? I'll get their uh, yep. statements. I come check in with you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bird talk, to, talk to him. Me? Yeah. Talk. Okay. Um, okay. You got nothing on you? No. Okay. All right. What's going on? So, we were just riding around on bird scooters, you know, like teenagers do. And then he came up How here. I'm 19. Okay. And he hit the cone right here and knocked it over. What cone? Uh, it was, I think it was the one Can with the gray stuff on it. Inside? Okay, middle one? Yeah, and knocked it over and then he started yelling and he threatened him first. So he was, defend he was defending himself okay. like, against him. How did he threaten him? I don't remember exactly what he said, Okay. but he was, he antagonized him so he was defending himself. Okay. What, what led up to that point? We were riding around down here. We were going down there, uh, 
turning around, coming back up here. We were riding around around this thing a little bit. Okay. And then, so you hit the cone, and then what happened? He hit the cone. Sorry, that's yeah. what I said. He hit yeah. the cone, then what happened? Then he started yelling at us, and he defended himself. Where did, where did he come from? He was up there, up at the top. Okay. And he was like, I'll come down there and beat your ass. Okay. And he was... We waited down here to see if he would actually come down, and then he came down. Travis was standing right there, didn't say a single right word. Right and, right. like, on the road. And he came up and hit him. I don't know if it was, like, in the chest or the rib cage, but he hit him with the flashlight and then okay. started shining it in his eyes. Okay. All right, what's your... You got your ID on you? Yes. All right, let me see it. And he was also getting in his face, telling him to swing on him. Are you still on? Parker, Lachlan, Leland. Is uh, which one over? Okay. Okay. And then, where where are the bird at right now? Uh, there those ones right there. Where were you standing when him and him were? Oh, I was standing right next to him. When, was that in the middle of the street here, or yes. like over there, middle, right in the middle of the street right here? Yes. Okay. What was all said? Um, I think we're still missing that part. Like the exchange, the exchange of words. He was, the guy over there was getting in his face, telling him to hit him and stuff. Okay, and then what? What, what else? Um, I don't really remember what all was said. Why is that? That's just an honest question. Okay, you're right on. That's why? Yes. Okay. That, that was just an honest question. That's not my biological brother, but yeah. So just saying I'm talking, you kind of yes. missing parts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got that. Kind of adrenaline pumped up, blacked out a little bit. Right. Okay. All right, he, how old is he? Um, 18. He's 18, you're 19? Yes. Okay. All right. And then, okay. Is there anything else that you that you think you're missing or you didn't say, or does that, that covers everything? Yes. About how long ago this happened? Uh, like, probably 15, 20 minutes before you guys showed up. 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Just um, wait by go, the Go on that pole so she can see you. Okay. Go sit on that pole, okay? Bird's good, right? I was riding. You know how, like, when you press the brake, the back wheel walks up and it makes a squeaking noise, right? Okay. And you can drift when you do that. It's kind of fun, right? Okay. I get it's kind of late and stuff, right? Right. But he's up there. He goes, hey, big shot, you want to go? Right? Because I said, he said, watch, keep it down. I said, I'm not doing nothing wrong. He goes, hey, big shot, you want to go? Right? So, obviously, you know, I'm a dude, 18 years old. I can hold my own ground. I'm going to hold my own ground. Right? Okay. So, I didn't know who he was, right? This random old guy. Older guy. Not trying to be old. Right? So, I said, yeah, come down. We can go. Right? He's threatening me to fight me. Right? And I stood right here. I said, what's up? He walks up to me and like, I'm not gonna hit you, I promise. He goes like that and jazzed me like right here in the ribs with the flashlight. Okay. And then he said he felt threatened. My hands were at my sides. I don't know, I didn't swing at him, I didn't pick up. What I did didn't... you do when he walked down? I just stood there. I said, what's up? Like, I, you know, I didn't know who he was. He was that was bad. I think he was a cop. I'm not gonna swing at a cop, you know? I have more respect than that. You know, okay. he has authority over me. He's better than me, you know? I know you. So. So he hits you in the stomach with the flashlight. Like the rib cage, not okay. the stomach, bro. Okay. Not bro, but she got. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then what? Um, and then that's that's like it. He was like threatening me to swing on him. He wanted me to swing on him, what? right? How? Like he would get out. He was like, I'm not close to you, but like no, say don't. say this is my face. This was his face. He was like threatening, like swing on me, bro. Swing on me. Swing on me. Did Come on, big shot. Swing on me. Did he say that? Yes. He was like telling me, Gabby, was he not telling no. me? Listen, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm talking to you. Okay, we'll yeah. talk to her. He was literally telling me to swing on him. When was this? You didn't mention that before. 
it was like after the effect of the um mm. like when he came down here and showed me his bed as soon as he showed me his bed i was out right okay, i'm not gonna fight a cop so he comes out you yep. say what's up yep then you told me that he comes up to you and pokes you in the stomach with the flashlight. Like jabs. It wasn't jab, a poke. Jabs, if it was a poke, sorry, I wouldn't okay. even have made a effect. Jabs, I just you, jabs you in the stomach with the flashlight. Now yep. you're telling me that he was telling you to swing on him. That was after. When? He jabbed after me in the when? stomach. And then he was like, um, come on, big shot. Like, threatening. Like, you know. What exactly did he say, though, right? Like, he said a couple So times. I was mad, right? I'm mad, right? He jabbed me in the stomach with a flashlight. So what did you say when he jabbed you? I was like, I don't even remember. I, was, I think I said something about, like, I should fight him, right? Because that's battery. No, I said that's battery. Right? Because okay. that's battery, right? Is it not? Okay. Hitting then, with an object is battery. And then what? And then I just walked away. I walked that way. I walked to the no, other no, side no, of that. No, 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 no. You say something to him. I said, that's help. battery. And, and he said, no, it's not. You're going to jail for disturbing the peace. Okay. I said, that's not a jail-worthy crime. Okay, but where does right? the swing on me hit me, hit me? Okay, it goes after. Because I was talking to him, right? I was like, you know, I'm kind of mad, bro. I, I could fight someone right now. Don't reach in your pocket. I'm so sorry. I was out of pocket. Um, anyways, so I was like, um, I should fight you. To him, right? I should, I should fight him, right? He hit me with a flashlight. That's this self is defense. after the fact? Yes, yes. Way after. Okay. Like, probably five minutes after, right? He's like, I should, I, I, I should hit him back. This self-defense. If he hits me with a flashlight, I'm an unarmed, unarmed dude, right? Where was right? he when you were saying this? Where were you? Like right there. He was like right there, right? And we okay. were on the other side of, you see that little circle So then you guys are talking and you say you should hit him. I'm, I'm like, I'm mad. Like, I could hit him. Okay, then right? what? And he, go, he w runs up to me. Like, not run, but like fast walks up to me. He's like, hit me, hit me, hit me. And like points toward his chin. Like, I'm going to hit him. And then I said, what? no, I'm more mature than you. I'm not going to hit you. And he goes, hit me. And I'm like, I'm not going to hit you. I just, I'm going to hit him, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Then what happened? And then you guys got here. And I just, I asked him if I could sit down. He said, you're free to do whatever you want. I walked over here, I seen you guys pulling up, and I stopped. I just, now I'm here. I didn't threaten him in any way. I don't know how he feels threatened. So the original altercation was because you were... Squeaking the squeaking tires, tires on the bird scooters. And he scooters. yelled at you from up there. Yeah, is that is that a worthy thing to hit someone's flashlight? Uh, it's... Because he's chief of police. He's above me. He's yeah. better than me. Upon receiving a citizen complaint, City officials placed Cicchini on leave on September 18th. On October 2nd, Cicchini informed city officials of his decision to retire, effective October 7th. Cicchini had dedicated over 20 years of service to the Phoenix Police Department. If you think these boys were the only genius in their approach toward humbling an idiot cop, then probably you haven't heard of this next case of an unlawful traffic stop. So this is what he has a problem with, the taillights. At which point you see I did do what you said. If you look here, they have been replaced. They're OEM. They're OEM. Okay. No, OEM dot certified. Pay $275 a piece. You want to look at them? Look at them, bro. I went through and I paid okay. the extra just, money. And saying, now you're pulling me over again. What I saw is they look dark. This is Mr. Clint Layson. On July 27, 2020, he was stopped by Officer Jeff Kozlowski from the Belle Plaine Police Department while driving his Volkswagen on some road in Belle Plaine, Minnesota. Officer Kozlowski conducted a traffic stop on the suspicion of faulty taillights in the car. However, Mr. Layson's car had no issues with the taillights. All right, guys. I'm getting pulled over for no damn reason. Just left my house. going on a cruise wasn't speeding have insurance let's see what this is about Mr. Clint Layson rightfully inquires about the reason for Officer Kozlowski's demand for his ID and insurance as per the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Fourth Amendment protects citizens against unreasonable seizures and searches and permits them to question the reason for such acts. Mr. Layson immediately realized he was being pulled over without any probable cause. 
observe how smartly he acts and deals with the situation. Okay, well, I told you last time I saw you at the gas station, it wasn't a traffic stop then. I advised you that your taillights were illegal. All right, can I step out for a second? Absolutely. You are being recorded too, That's just so you know. So, this is what he has a problem with, the taillights. At which point you see I did do what you said. If you look here, they have been replaced. They're OEM. They're OEM. Okay. No OEM dot certified. Pay $275 a piece. You want to look at them? Look at them, bro. I went through and I paid okay. the extra just, money. I know you're pulling me I'm over again. What I saw is they look dark. That's okay. legal. It's legal. Whether There's you, plenty of other cars around here I know, that have just, black just, taillights, don't even have color. I'm explaining to you why, okay? That's all. They looked dark when I pulled behind you. Okay? That's it. All right. Okay. Was Any it, other issues? Because you've seen it now. No. Was you've it that, seen was that, that, was that, that? Was it that hard? No, but it's just a little bit disconcerting to me that I can't go about my travels in this town. It's sickening without being pulled over for no reason. And then you ask me for my license and you try to give me a, a headache over it because you, I didn't do anything. Okay, well, when you're pulled over in the state of Minnesota, you have, I have to produce to, a license. But I actually have to produce a driving infraction for you to pull me over. Officer Kozlowski seems baffled after he finds out that there is no particular fault with the taillights of the car. However, he still doesn't back off from his demands to view Mr. Layson's driving license and insurance. Okay. When you're stopped in Minnesota, you have to produce a driver's license. There has to be a reason for you to stop me. Okay. I provided you a reason. And I gave you, I told you. Okay. But you still have to provide me a driver's license. <sighs> What's your reasonable suspicion for pulling me over after I showed you that my taillights are good? OEM. This will be interesting. Now I am confiding to him, even though he doesn't need this. You have your insurance card as well. You can look up the policy right here. the video and show him my app real quick I'm gonna all right that's what we're dealing with guys unlawful stops here Mr. Layson unwillingly showed him his identity documents and insurance for what Officer Kozlowski had been badgering for this whole encounter. Mr. Layson was allowed to leave following the scene and did not get any citations or tickets for any misdemeanor. Officer Kozlowski remains on duty despite having been violating the rights of citizens. It is good to see genius suspects humbling idiot cops to set them on the right track. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. Goodbye.